So lamb stew, basic as can be. Well, maybe not. This one is super easy to make. It is delicious, super tender, fall off the bone lamb with a lovely selection of vegetables in a kind of garlic and tomato base. I'm calling it Mediterranean, I think. You know, it's that kind of vibe there. Bit of fresh dill, some thyme. Delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so we're going to go straight in on this one. Now, I've got a pot here, which we're going to cook in. I've got about three or four tablespoons of olive oil. Now, here's our lamb. We've got quite a lot of lamb here. There's one and a half kg there. About sort of three, three pound-ish. Nice big chunky pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to get some in. This is a lovely New Zealand lamb I've got a really lovely cut, it's really, really good. There's a little bit of fat on there, which I like, and there's some bone in there. Now, I'm gonna batch cook this because I don't want to put it all in the pan at once. You just want one layer there. And on, you know, just above a medium heat, I want us to fry this around for about maybe six, seven minutes, you know, turning it quite often. Then we're gonna take it out, then I'll do the second lot there. Then we can move on. Okay, so the meat's done there. Well, it's not actually done, is it? It's, um, you can see there. So we've got a nice bit of color on the outside of it, but nowhere near cooked yet. Okay, gas is gonna go back on. Now we're gonna keep all of that oil and the fat that we got from the lamb. Let me just grab a spoon. Medium heat, we're gonna drop in one cup of onion. One tablespoon of garlic. Salt. black pepper and we're going to go just for three minutes just you know three minutes or so there now we're going to introduce back in the lamb and we're going to throw this around for another three or four minutes So next up, we're gonna add two cans, 400 ml each of tomatoes. These are a whole plum tomato. We're just gonna sort of roughly break them with our spoon. And then we're gonna add some water. Now you could use stock if you want. There's about one pint there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat up to maximum. And we're gonna go for about 15 minutes or so. Give it a stir every now and then. So this is looking absolutely super fab, I think. Now, listen, this meat that I'm using is a really nice quality. If you're using a less quality or a mutton or something like that, you might need to cook it a bit longer, but this is good. Right, we're gonna add now two teaspoons of dried thyme. Maybe a little bit of oregano in there could also be quite nice. Then I'm gonna add some green beans. Look, the vegetables you wanna put in is up to you. So I'm gonna go green beans, one cup of green beans, two cups of eggplant, roughly. Now, if you're gonna use potatoes, carrots, celery, you wanna get that in now. I've also got some zucchini mushrooms and some bell peppers that are going to go in here so i'm not going to put them in just yet i'm going to wait for about eight minutes we're going to go on a nice medium heat now or just slightly below medium give it a stir every now and then i'll see you in about eight minutes or so absolutely fantastic okay i'm going to add my last three vegetables so i've got 
maybe a cup or so, or just over a cup of green bell pepper, about a cup or two of mushrooms, like 100 grams really. I've just quartered those. And then some zucchini, roughly about the same. We're gonna add some more stock or water. That's just about a cup. Give this a nice mix. Put it on a simmer, stick a lid on this, and we're gonna go just for five more minutes. And then this should be done and beautiful. Right, there you go, so off goes the heat. Now listen, I like a nice little crunch on my zucchini and you know the last vegetables that we put in. Uh, you might wanna cook it a bit longer. Check that for salt. That's delicious. Finally, I'm gonna go with some fresh dill. If you don't have fresh dill, maybe some chopped parsley or cilantro in the mix would be really nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for some dill. That's it, let me get that on a plate, fantastic. Okay, and there you go. Just put a little bit of dill on the top once it's been served. That is absolutely banging. I really love that. It's full of absolute goodness. Got some beautiful vegetables in there. You can add any vegetables that you like, of course. You don't have to use the selection that I have. That meat is really super, super tender. I don't know if you can see that bone there. All the marrows come out of it. Delicious. Hope you enjoyed that. Keep safe and keep well, everyone. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is gonna take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's gonna take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Togalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.